Have you ever wondered what's possible in this crazy world? Huh? Here's six of the most unbelievable, unimaginable, and mysterious real-life stories that has ever happened. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Get ready with me to buy my first car. So the car I want to get is a Lamborghini Yaris. We're going to Manhattan to get it. So this girl is supposedly the richest girl on TikTok. Her name is Flo, and Flo is so rich she can get anything she wants with just a snap of her fingers. Now Flo has her eye on a Lamborghini Urus. She's excited about getting it and talks about it a lot on TikTok. But then the worst thing happens to Flo. I just got the worst news of my life. The Lamborghini I wanted got sold. Aww. She seems so sad about it, but what she says next just makes everybody lose it. I don't know what's so hard to believe about getting a Lambo. Like, they're not even that expensive. Wait a minute, what? They're not expensive? Now that doesn't sit well with her TikTok fans. It just makes everyone think she's lying about her wealth. Could all this rich talk just be a big show? Out of nowhere, Flo announces that she has gotten the car. She says that her daddy had gotten her the Lambo, and now it's time for the big reveal. Then, boom! Her account gets banned. This is likely due to much hating and reporting on her TikTok account. So did she get it or not? Was any of it real? Eventually, her TikTok account gets back up and she does have a Lamborghini. Well, that was a roller coaster. So, the police are chasing this woman, and she's running as fast as she can. Suddenly, she starts taking off her pants. Her name's Chase, and she is a yoga teacher who lives in Texas with her boyfriend, Colin, a professional cyclist sponsored by Red Bull. Their relationship has been on and off, but it's getting serious now, until Chase starts to get suspicious that Colin might be cheating. Chase sneaks into his social media and email accounts and discovers he's still talking to his ex, Mo, who is also a cyclist. Chase secretly blocks Mo's number on Colin phone, thinking it's over, but after a while, her suspicions return. She checks again and finds out Colin's still chatting with Mo and hiding the evidence by deleting texts. Even worse, because Mo is coming to town for a cycling event and Colin plans to hang out with her. Chase tracks their location through a fitness app that Mo uses to log her workouts, and through that app, she sees that Mo and Colin go for a swim together. Chase follows Colin to Mo's friend's house, where Mo is staying. She sneaks inside, finds Mo in the bathroom, and confronts Mo with a pew-pew. About a half hour goes by, and the friend Mo is staying with comes home. She finds Mo on the bathroom floor. She calls 911, but it's too late. The next day, by sheer coincidence, the police arrest Chase, but not because she unalived someone with a pew-pew. Turns out she has an outstanding warrant for a minor theft from years ago. During questioning, they realize a typo in her birth date invalidates the warrant, so they let her go. Then, Chase sells her Jeep, flies to New York, and uses her sister's credit card and passport to fly to Costa Rica. While in Costa Rica, Chase tries to forget her troubles. She teaches yoga, changes her look with several haircuts and a nose job, but after 43 days, U.S. Marshals find her and bring her back to Texas. But it is not over because Chase is determined to bust out. So she's back in U.S. jailed and awaiting trial for over a year. During that time, Chase plans her escape. One day she's like, ouch, I got a leg injury. Can you take me to the medical facility? And she gets a trip to a doctor in the city. After the appointment, she runs for it. Someone catches it on camera, and there she is running. She strips off her pants, revealing a thermal underwear, trying to disguise herself. But she's recaptured while climbing a fence. Finally, Chase goes to trial. She's found guilty of first-degree murder and is sentenced to nine years in prison. That dog, yeah. you punched it. Man, your business. So this guy is in Wisconsin, punching his dog out in the open and thinks he'll get away with it. This woman, Hero, sees him, hurting the dog and tries to stop him. She doesn't let him off easy. She tells him she's going to call the cops and as she's dialing, he takes off. By the time the police show up, he is gone. Thankfully, she had recorded everything. So she posts the video on TikTok and it blows up. Boom! Over 3 million views. The internet is on fire and in no time, they find find the dog's actual owner. Turns out it was his girlfriend's dog, so they immediately start dragging her. People start dropping messages for the cops on their Facebook, requesting justice for the dog, and the pressure pushes the cops into action. They find the guy the next day and arrest him. The dog is taken to the vet. Everyone is happy, but guess who isn't? The guy's girlfriend. 
So his girlfriend drops these angry videos on TikTok. He got locked up because what he did was wrong. She is pissed at her boyfriend for what he did and she's glad he's in jail. But she is more pissed at everyone for dragging her. She doesn't stop there. I didn't appreciate that bitch posting the video because this situation was still ongoing. She lashes out on Hero 2 for posting the video. And then she makes her account private. Kiss my ass. You kiss my ass backwards, upside down, sideways, around, however you want. Wanna kiss it. Guess she doesn't like attention at all. I just feel like, you know, I found a loophole, I ran through it, and I did great. In 2023, this YouTuber, Hellcat, had a big problem. The FBI busted into his house in New Jersey and took away his Power Rangers-themed Lamborghini. It all started when Hellcat put pirated movies and shows on fire sticks and sold them online. It worked really well, he sold thousands, and became a millionaire in just a year. But he got worried about the legal stuff. If it's potentially land me in jail, I'm not doing it. So he came up with another big idea, and this one got him in trouble. He made an app called Gears TV that lets people stream cable TV from all over the world. This app was a huge hit, and soon he had over 100,000 subscribers, making $400,000 a week. Hellcat loved showing off his wealth, vlogging about his luxury lifestyle on YouTube. He had multiple houses, fancy cars, and that famous Power Rangers Lamborghini. His vlogs also popped off on YouTube because people loved watching him. You know who else was watching Hellcat? The FBI! One day, they showed up at his house, beat on his door, got in and took everything. The cameras, TVs, jewelry, cash, even his cars. They towed away 58 vehicles and seized 21 properties. Hellcat got on YouTube and told his fans it was all about tax evasion, but that didn't stop him. He kept vlogging and rebuilding his car collection. Then, the FBI came back for a second raid. This time, they nailed him for something bigger. His apps were basically pirating cable TV and reselling it, which is super illegal. Hellcat thought he found a loophole. I just feel like, you know, I found a loophole. I ran through it and I did great. But there wasn't one. He got arrested and sentenced to five and one half years in prison, plus a $30 million fine, making it one of the biggest ever for copyright issues. So this guy wakes up one morning to a lot of backlash that would have sent anyone running off the internet. His name is Oprah, and Oprah is known for giving food to the homeless. He's got a whole channel where he films himself doing nice things for strangers. And so in 2024, he decides to up his game but suddenly everything changes. One day, Oprah buys 1,000 burgers, 1,000 egg McMuffins, and 1,000 tacos, claiming he would feed 3,000 people. How much for 1,000 buddy burgers? Can I get 1,000 egg McMuffins? Can I get 1,000 tacos? Now that's a huge move, and these videos are doing really well for him. His fans cheer, loving his big heart. But then something seems fishy. His fans start to notice he never really shows the bags of food. They begin to question whether or not he's actually buying I don't think he's buying that much food. He's lying to his audience. So his curious fans start digging. They start contacting the restaurants he bought from. Did Oprah buy all that food? Or was it just a way to get more likes and views? Then boom, the truth drops. I actually got in contact with one of the employees and they confirmed he didn't actually buy a thousand. A restaurant worker confirms that Oprah only bought 20 burgers. So that's 980 pieces less than his claims. Imagine the uproar. His fans are split. Some defend him saying, at least he's still helping while others feel he shouldn't have lied. After everything blew up, Oprah decides to come clean. He makes a video to say, sorry for not being honest i just want to say that i did not buy a thousand burgers i essentially was just trying to add clickbait to those videos honestly i made a mistake and i should and this is well received by a lot of his fans in 2019, this girl, her name's Samantha. Samantha really wanted to meet her dad, Travis, who left her and her mom when she was just a baby. But when Samantha turned 21 after spending some years with her dad, something weird happened. Well, they smashed. When Samantha had turned 17, she convinced her mom to introduce her to her dad. Samantha and Travis met in Nebraska, and they hit off really well. Travis also had another daughter who was around Samantha's age. Samantha was happy, and she started spending a lot of time with her dad and her half-sister. Everything was great for about three years. Until Samantha turned 21 and things got weird. Samantha's half-sister started getting jealous because she didn't like sharing her dad with Samantha. The sisters started arguing about who their dad liked more. Then they came up with a totally crazy idea. This idea was a competition to see who could get their dad to fall in love with them first. Samantha and her half-sister started flirting with Travis. And in this super gross turn of events, Samantha won the bet. She and Travis, well, they smashed. Which means they did something very inappropriate for a father and daughter. Of course, they couldn't keep this secret 
secret forever. People started noticing how close they were and started gossiping about them. The rumors got back to Samantha's mom, who was horrified and called the police, since it's illegal for a dad and daughter to have that kind of relationship. So someone tipped off Samantha and Travis, and they did the only thing they could think of. They got married! Getting married didn't help them at all. The police still arrested them. Travis tried to say they weren't really related, but a DNA test proved he was lying. So Travis got two years in prison. Samantha got nine months of probation. They were also banned from ever contacting each other again.